Good afternoon, everyone. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to the Futures Market Outlook for the week starting with May 5th, 2019. What a week it was. All right, let's take a look at the market. Uh, let's take, let's begin with the mini Dow this time around. We're gonna begin with the monthly chart and uh, brand new fresh monthly candle. And uh, you could see right here, we had a very, very strong close into Friday. We finished off into the 26,517 at the highs, almost challenging the prior month's high. We're really building up on that momentum and we really look like we really want to break out over this area, over seven, over 550, over 600. We're going to be looking for a next target level into the 27,000. We have a prior high that was set last uh, October into the 26,966. We're going to be looking to trade in that direction. Let's take it back down uh, a notch to the weekly chart. Weekly chart just left a doji. We had a really nice tap on the, onto the 10 exponential moving average, moving back into uh, yesterday's prior high. And not only that, but into this prior high. So this is the area that we're trying to digest. We've uh, tried to, we, we have really tried to break this area once again, and that was in September and actually with a new high beginning of October before the volatility started and did a retest into the lows back into the low 22,000. And then we rotated back up again and the price is coming back into the 26,700 area. So this week, we have a very impressive week. We have a doji. We trade above this prior high into the 700. This is going to be the launch pad for a continuation higher back into the 2700. The daily charts. The daily chart we had post FOMC, a pullback, uh, revisiting a confluence zone into the 130s. Confluence zone deriving from the 50 SMA and also from a prior low that was established at beginning at the beginning of April and also the highs from February that created a really nice platform for the price to reverse and continue higher. Today, uh, we managed to trade above the highs, the 26. Uh, 477 trigger actually was 63 uh, and we managed to trade above that 77 level and project higher we're still trading into this uh, prior into these prior highs so with uh, with the imini down even though it made a new high uh for friday uh we're still not yet out of the woods in terms of erasing the prior high that was established into the 680 to the 700 zone. Once we break above the 700 zone, we will be looking for price continuation back into the 26700, uh, back into the 27,000. Sorry about that. All right. So um, we still need to see the price trade over these highs right here. So until then, uh, price trajectory going into Sunday night and Monday. We will be looking for 26, uh, 600 and 26, 700 as price target level. Let's continue with the mini S&P. And uh, the mini S&P had a really nice price action um, um, this whole entire week. Uh, the monthly just made a new high. This is a new all-time high for the mini S&P. You can see it right here. Uh, 29.61.25 and uh, this is a brand new fresh candle right here that is trading just above these prior highs so it is really in a very very strong uh, pattern the weekly chart uh, you could see it right here this week we managed to make a new high beautiful 29.61.25 like I said and we're trading above this prior high into the 29.45 uh, let's take it back down a notch to the daily chart. The daily chart came in and we had a very strong support zone into the 2900 deriving from these prior highs right here. Multiple uh, multiple levels were tested post FOMC uh, dip into the 29, uh, 2922. So I was actively looking for reversals into the 2922 and into the 2900. We actually called along uh, into the trading room and uh, it was right here into the 2900 level. Uh, we really like the price action activity even though on Friday we didn't uh, make a new high and we didn't take uh, uh, take out the high from uh, from earlier this week into uh, into Wednesday, we're still holding on very, very strongly. And this is a very bullish candle that 
uh, has uh, a lot of odds of continuing higher into Sunday into Monday. Now, don't forget that the London session is going to uh, the London market is going to be closed on Monday, so it's going to be a little bit thin in the overnight trading session. And also, on Sunday night, the CME Group will be issuing the micro and mini future indices for the Dow, for the S and P, for Nasdaq, and for Russell. Uh, you will have them available on your platforms. The majority of the brokers will have them available on Monday morning. So that's going to be very, very interesting. We also have a free webinar for you to join uh, this Thursday. And if you want to register for the webinar, you can shoot us an email at info at tradeoutloud.com or you can follow us on social media. Uh, and the handle is Trade Out Loud, whether you're using Twitter or Facebook uh, or whether you are using YouTube. Um, we have all the information there. You just uh, click the tab and uh, register for this free event. We're going to be talking about the multiple opportunities that uh, you can uh, have by trading these micro, uh, micro future indices. They're really a great tool to uh, layer in, to scale out. Uh, and uh, also to position size a little bit better if you have a smaller trading size account. All right, so we're going to be looking for a continuation higher into the Dow, and there are further targets into the 2974 and into 3000. So we do have a lot of uh, room for progression to the upside into the M and &E SMP. Let's take a look at NASDAQ and I'm going to go further out into the monthly chart because we do have a brand new monthly candle right here that originated about three, three days ago. Uh, and uh, we have had a really nice bullish reaction. We're very close to triggering a new high. We finished at uh, 70, uh, 78.72.5 and we do have a high, an all-time high of 78.79.5. We take out that high and we're entering into a very bullish, not only, uh, not only from the monthly perspective, but also from the week, uh, the, not only from the monthly perspective, but also from the weekly perspective into a higher trajectory here. This is a monster trend that keeps on going. We have a very strong market. On Friday, we had very strong job numbers. There's nothing really slowing the economy. So regardless of what the narrative is, uh, remember that any news, any announcement, it's just a brief pullback. Uh, it, it's just a brief uh, um, uh, turbulence within the monster trend that we have and the trend ultimately is going to win. All right, definitely we're getting a little bit extended, but hey, we have to trade what we have uh, in front of us. So I'm not gonna be trying to short anything into resistance. In fact, uh, when you have price action that is trading into resistance, that's not a great way uh, to, it is not a great location to short. Rather, you would look for signs of strength or signs of weakness. On a sign of weak, weakness, you can look for a pullback buy scenario, and that's why we were already uh, on Thursday uh, for a reversal off of th these really strong confluence zones and uh, not shorting. So I was not interested for a short for the duration of the day. Even I'm a, even if I'm a day trader, I'm still waiting for uh, the uh, the institutional money flow to actually trade with them instead of trading against them. From the daily perspective, we have a very strong daily range right here into the 78.75 level. And uh, as long as we're holding these highs, and you could see this candle today is really ready to pop higher going into uh, Monday and going into next week. And remember, even if we are going to have a little bit lower than average volume in the market uh, into the overlap uh, trading session that we usually get from uh, 9.30 a.m. into uh, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, uh, remember that this low volume may be your best friend uh, for a continuation of the trend. Slower volume, uh, we're going to have more and more textbook pullback buys, and this is valid for the day trader. Uh, the price action can actually, uh, the, the, the price can actually explode over these highs right here, like I said, over 75 and over 80. And we're looking for further uh, further targets. And we have really strong targets into 8,000. So uh, uh, continue, we're looking for a continuation higher all the way to 8,000. We still have additional targets 
uh, for um, for the trading session uh, on Sunday going into Monday into the 79 48 79 67 and going into 79 88 and uh, and 8,000 so very very strong price action let's continue with uh, Russell Russell has been uh, has been one of the superstars and it's going to be uh, a real delight watching uh, Russell for the next uh, for the next couple of weeks or so and hopefully it's going to be that way monthly chart we have a bull sandwich with the price exploding over 1600 and uh, if you go back on our videos on YouTube we have been talking about this uh, since February and we were looking for a continuation higher as this bull sandwich was developing into early April we did mention we needed to see a break over 1600 for a confirmation of uh, the trend continuing higher back into the 1650 1700 and back into the 1750 highs from the weekly perspective and we have a beautiful um, textbook uh, pattern and we have an inverse head and shoulders with the neckline being at the 1600 and also we do have a really nice right shoulder left shoulder and the head is here and again this is this pattern promotes higher price uh, higher prices and higher targets like I said before into 1650 1700 and 1760 we still have a little bit of turbulence going into the 1630s and once again going into the 1660 1662 before accelerating higher into the 1700 all right let's take a look at the daily chart and see what we have uh, what we can identify and how we can trade this moving forward going into next week a very strong bullish candle finally breaking out of this whole entire range you can see that from the daily chart you can still see a very soft head and shoulder patterns if this being the head right shoulder left shoulder right here and this being the neckline into the 1605 it has been the battleground that 1600 and we have been coiling around that number since february you can see it right here february 26 we have been going on and on and on coiling around that level finally the price exploded to the upside and we can expect continuation higher all right so now it's time to take a look at some uh, commodities so let's continue with gold I have a position in gold and uh, we're gonna take it way down to the monthly chart because we do have a brand new month and a brand new candle all right so we do have a pullback and to me this looks like a pullback buy it is a bull flag whatever you want to call it it is a one two three candle into uh into the core of this whole entire range uh into the 1280 and uh if we manage to break above the 1315 level then we can uh literally start moving higher we do have a trend that is setting on the monthly chart i spoke about this a couple of months a couple of weeks ago on our video so make sure you tune back and uh um and listen and we had a low back in 2016 in december we started moving up we have a higher low that was established in december uh, and then we started to move again up challenged by the high right here shallow pullback into September 2018 and then we had a really nice pullback by we have transitioned uh, through a lot of turbulence from these moving averages and from prior price action we managed to make a new high and we were actually getting ready over to trade over 1350 and we have a very shallow pullback notice here that we have the doji and we have one two three candles down we have this prior doji right here and this is going to be our reference for this is going to be the reference for me i'm going to be looking for the price uh to trade over the 1317 and that is when i'm going to have the price confirmation for the pullback buy to accelerate and push the uh, push the pedal to the metal in order to continue higher back into the 1350 level i i think uh, that this is a great trading opportunity longer term trading opportunity with future targets uh into the uh 1320 1350 and even continuing further into the 1400 level and this may take some time obviously this being a core trade we had a very turbulent area here on the pullback we had a big move down we had a uh, move up and this is the weekly chart we actually benefited from this move up and we had multiple trades in gold from january till now and uh we had the pullback right here back again now the price is trading uh, at this confluence zone we have a crossover of the, uh we have a crossover of these moving averages right here and we're looking for the price to start trading above this 1291 now because the, the now because we have 
uh, now because we have uh, the the close from Friday, uh, we're and the high of the scandal being the 1289.4. We're going to be looking for a progression higher over 90. So over 90.91, it's going to be a one point difference. Uh, then we're going to be starting to progress higher. And again, 1300 is going to be a cluster zone. We're going to have to work. Uh, the price is going to have to work above 1300 in order to start progressing higher to 1320 and 1340. From the daily perspective, from the daily perspective, we have a double tap and a double bottom uh, into the 1267. We have a really nice daily reversal that happened into the 1280. It triggered over the 1280 again, and we started to progress a little bit higher. Remember, we have we're reaching a high turbulence zone from this double bottom right here that we had in April and in March. And once the price is going to start uh, working that price out into the 1280 between 1280 and 12. 90, then we're going to start a progression higher. So we, uh, to me, gold is more of a swing trading commodity than a day trading commodity. And I see larger moves possibly happening once we trade over this cluster into the 1290. So I, I, I still think that uh, it looks very nice for a uh, continuation higher. All right, let's uh, move on to crude. And uh, we're going to zoom out all the way to the monthly chart brand new candle uh the new uh, month has started and we're trading within last month's parameters we're right there right in the middle uh right coiling into the 20 simple moving average the weekly chart the weekly chart tapped onto the 10 exponential moving average and also into these prior lows from March. And uh, so far we have sort of like a doji here. So from the weekly perspective, I think that crude still needs to work out its area before moving in one direction or another. The way it looks right now, this is a pullback buy. I'm not really sure if it really wants to pull back a little bit further going into next week. Uh, but it still still has a lot of support here into the 61 area. So 61 area is going to be seen as an area of support for a possible continuation higher. Zooming in onto the daily chart, we have a very nice structure here, a tap onto the 50 SMA and the price navigating a little bit above, but closing right at the 10 exponential moving average. I would like to see a move into the 6260 in order to start its progression back to the upside. It's still gonna have a lot of turbulence into the $64, but if it's gonna manage to move uh, above this uh, 6380 to $64, it has a really nice clear void uh into the 64 60 and back into the 66 dollar area all right i have i always receive a lot of uh, uh a lot of emails literally hundreds of emails from you guys i'm sorry if i'm not getting to answer all of your emails it's just that i am bombarded every day with emails um uh, you know uh, individuals traders uh, asking about charts etc cetera, etc cetera. so i try to answer the uh, i answer a lot of these a lot of your questions via these videos and i hope this helps and thank you so much for all the positive uh, feedback that I'm getting from you guys. All right, I'm going to take this a notch back all the way to the monthly chart. So monthly chart, we had a one, two, three, four months of continuous rally all the way into resistance, pause into resistance. We have uh, actually a double top right here influencing this high, definitely inside month so far. This month is still very young, only about three days old, uh, three trading days old. However, we as long as we're still gravitating within, uh, within last month's high and low we're still going to be bullish on the uh, on this move all right we're going to take it now to the weekly chart the weekly chart just signal a sell however this sell is coming back into these prior uh, prior lows right here so we still have the two dollars which is psychological two dollars is still holding you could see that when we actually hit the reversal we actually hit the brakes at the two dollar level and we started to correct right so we had uh we on thursday we had a uh, uh we actually this pullback happened on thursday and then we had the reversal and then we were trying to work ourselves uh work ourselves out and i'm going to show you exactly in detail what i mean by that the daily chart had a very shallow pullback hiccupy kind of pull back here back into the 20 SMA back into this prior high right here digesting the psychological two dollar area and I think that if we hold this area and start moving higher over 2.06 2.07 we're going to start moving back up again and especially if we print a 208 209 I can see the price 
uh, go into the 2.2 level back again. All right, so because I was speaking about the possible reversal that can happen at this point, I'm going to go to the hourly chart. This is the low, this is the low from Thursday, and then we had um, uh, we had the, uh, the, the dip uh, into the $2 area, what was it like, buy the dip into the $2 area. Uh, overnight uh, on Friday, uh, we reversed and we found, uh, we found a pullback buy, which was, uh, you could see right here from this prior low and high right here, was a shallow pullback with a reversal that happened in the overnight trading session. Triggered at 5 a.m. with a continuation higher back into the New York trading session. Thus, a New York trading session making a new high for the day right here. But the new high, uh, notice that we're having the new high uh, set into these prior lows right here. As long as we're gonna manage uh, to, uh, to execute another uh, reversal at this point over 2.3, it's gonna need the 2.3 area, then we can start, uh, uh, then we can start working on digesting these prior resistance level, these, these prior support that now are resistance levels for, for price and continue higher into the 2.06. Now, from the four hour perspective, I really like the fact that we have uh, we have had the low, we have had a, uh, we have had an inside candle, and we have continued uh, to move higher. Notice that the low of this candle is right into that two dollar mark shallow pullback another uh four hour reversal with a continuation higher we have a little bit of a doji here we tested look how well we can see here these prior lows um and that are uh, uh that are creating that turbulence zone uh, uh those resistance bands and also we have the 20 sma right here so once we start progressing a little bit higher we still have a little bit to digest but once we uh cross over these highs into the 2.8 it's I, I still think that we're going to be very bullish going into uh, going into next week as long as this two dollar area is going to hold. If we don't hold the two dollar area, we could fall back into the one point eight. So we still have about twenty cents um, that the price can navigate into, and it's going to have a mid uh, target of one point nine one along the way so in case we don't hold the two dollar area remember there is a void if you want to short uh into the 1.91 and 1.8 all right let's continue with the bonds again this is uh, uh this uh, i receive a lot of questions in regards to the bonds and to the bond market and we're going to take it all the way out to the monthly chart brand new candle inside the range and you notice that this candle right here is pretty much very bullish because it's trading within inside march's range so we have march we have april inside range and there you have the brand new uh three day old candle trading right here back into the 147 if you notice here the 147 was a constant throughout this this whole entire period so uh take a look back into 2018 we were trading 140 uh, 146 to 147 a lot of times all right let's zoom in to the weekly chart weekly chart noted as noted in the trading room for our members we had a we had a one two three bar down and we have a doji and a reversal over 147 with a stop under 146 and target into the 148 and possible continuation higher into the 148 28 and 150 so this uh setup and this uh pattern is still uh, is still holding and is still possibly uh set for a continuation higher from the daily chart you can see that we have pretty much a zigzag a consolidation at this point uh the risk level is still into the 146 and uh we are still expecting a break and a further continuation higher above 147. if 146 is going to be taken out we can look for a really slow grind back into the 145 level but we're still holding in bonds and that's uh that's very good natural gas uh, natural gas and let's zoom out of course to the monthly charts and the monthly chart you could see that very fresh brand new candle trading into the 2.56 inside the monthly range so far brand new very young candle three days old so it's trading within prior uh prior month's range weekly charts weekly chart has just initiated a trade above the prior uh the prior candle high however 
please note that this high right here um, is trading into the 260s and 262 area. Notice that it's getting a lot of pressure from all these lows from 2017, 2018, and also this pressure that was built from uh, this year in February. So we're getting a lot of pressure here. So the price needs to establish. Remember that the structure is still very weak on price and we've had a really steep correction on Thursday and on Friday that took the price a little bit lower. So there's a, there are a lot of elements that are supporting mixed signals. So for once, we have the weekly that is suggesting a continuation higher into the 2.67 or 2.69. Uh, 2 uh, However, the daily chart, the structure of the daily chart, let me just squish it a little bit here. Oh, I'm sorry, zooming, zoom it in a little bit here, not squash. All right, so if we trade under 250, 255, 255 is going to be the number. If we trade under 255, the risk for this trade, the stop for this trade needs to be above 263. Uh, we can have a progression lower back into the 250 and back into the two, uh, back into the 246. So you can see how we have these mixed signals right here. So the daily suggest that we may have a leg lower if we break below 2.55 okay with a continuation lower back into these prior lows if we hold the 255 level we can expect a rotation over 2.63 with an acceleration higher into 2.65 2.7 2.75 Okay, so this is with natural gas. All right, let's uh, let's uh, continue with copper, and copper is going to be our last uh, commodity to analyze for today. A little bit longer video, twenty six minutes till now. All right, let's zoom out as always to the monthly chart. That's what we do at the beginning of the month, and you can see right here that uh, copper has started. Uh, a, 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 I would say a, a really rough kind of month a couple of days ago on Thursday and we had a, a big move down uh, but we had a big move down and I'm going to be sharing with you uh, this idea and this was a miss on my side because it was like a really strong signal to buy. All right, so uh, this month we have triggered a rotation that may take the price lower. However, we're landing back into this really heavy support level at the 2.8. Remember, the 2.8 area represented the trigger for the buy from this cluster right here uh, back in February. And we had the continuation higher, okay? So take a look at the weekly charts, okay? The weekly charts, we have a confluence zone here and we have a cross here. We have the uh, uh, the squishy 20 and the 50 right here. And we're, we got a little bit of that wing, a little bit of that shadow underneath. Now, what I really missed was the daily chart, okay? The daily chart had a double bottom right here and I got carried away with all the other trades, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, I know it's not an excuse, but I, yeah, you know what happens and you're gonna miss trades. And uh, you, I admit it, you know, I have to, you have to be very honest with your trading. Okay, so 2.8 was the trigger point. I really love the doji, really love the location here uh, into the 200 simple moving average. And it went higher and actually achieved almost very, uh, uh, achieved very close to target into the 2.83, uh, 77. That's one of the first targets. And then it may have a continuation higher back into the uh, 286 and the 290. All right, I really like the structure of the hourly chart for those of you that are interested in a more aggressive shorter time frames. I really like this base right here. Look at the base, it's so nice and narrow. Uh, and uh, this is something that I will look for going into Sunday night, going into Monday's trading session. Over two point, uh, over two point eight two five oh this could actually be along with the continuation higher back into the 2.86 and uh 2.87 so this is a really nice risk to reward ratio i will look for a risk into the 280 and for a move higher even the four hour chart is looking very nice it's, uh it has uh, closed above uh this is the first candle that has closed above the 10 exponential moving average it tapped onto the 10 slight pullback and this candle is getting really ready to digest this 20 SMA and start pushing higher into the 2.86.
This is all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget about our free webinar that is this uh, week on Thursday. Remember to register. I will provide you with all the information. Uh, if you look at the bottom of this uh, video, and uh, also keep in mind that we have a brand new class that will start March 13th to 17th. Uh, it is a full education uh, class. It is a really comprehensive uh, futures uh, day trading class. It will teach you everything that you need to know A to Z in order to start trading futures. Uh, it is a five-day class. Like I said, it's a really, really, uh, um, um, it, it's, it, it's, it's a very, very uh, condensed class. So if you're looking, if you're new to trading futures or if you have been trading without uh, any success, in the markets, uh, this is gonna help you achieve uh, uh, your literacy in trading futures. And not only that, but it will fast track your performance. We're gonna teach you everything. We're gonna teach you technical analysis, risk management, etc. If you want more information about the class, you can email us at info at tradeoutloud.com. You can schedule a free consultation with me and uh, I will walk you through a class demo and uh, share with you what you will be learning. You're gonna be learning how to read the charts just like we did here and take actionable trading ideas and make good decisions in the market. Uh, we also have a live trading room if you uh, wish to uh, visit our page. It is tradeoutloud.com for a slash live trading room. You can find out more of what we trade and what we do here at Trade Out Loud. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you, your feedback, always appreciated. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much. I have a wonderful weekend ahead. Bye-bye.